Shalom la habakarium, shal yashal, peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of these so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners who are scattered among the, uh, the other nations worldwide. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, let us give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash, Koholoim La Abba Nawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works, and Shalom to you, believers that are Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abarat says this lesson is edifying and plain upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas. Today's topic, we're going to go into the name matters. The true names of our creator. Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawah Shah. All right. <clears throat> okay, uh... And I got these pictures from the brother uh, Shepa of the 12 Ba. Yahawa, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, the Most High in the Bible. Yahawa, meaning He exists. He is. Yah, meaning He. Hawa exists. So when you go to the highlighted part, right? The Hebrew. Y H W H Yahawa is the verb Hawa meaning to exist with the prefix prefix Y right Yah meaning he therefore the word Yahawa means he exists all right Let me get this right here. Okay, so let me get this right here because you see in this chart right here on the top right, it says Hebrew is read and written from right to left. So when you look on the top uh, left, right, it says here, there is no letter U in the Hebrew. So the name of the father cannot be Yahuwah. And the name of the son cannot be Yahusha. Don't be proud and do some research. Do the research. You can find this chart on the internet. Just type in ancient Hebrew alphabet, right? And, you know, look up each character right uh, let me get the next picture look up each character the modern hebrew paleo hebrew and see what it spells out and you will get yahawa for our heavenly father and his son our lord our savior our mediator yahawa shai yahawa shai yahi hawa shai Saves, he delivers. He's the savior. He's the deliverer of the nation of Israel. Started with the elect on this side. The 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe. And the great multitude of the Israelite who believes. The other Israelite men, women, and children. Two-thirds of our nation are not going to believe in this. The true names. Only the elect will believe. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. And not only these things, but the law itself. That's why we try our best to, to learn our native tongue. Right? The uh, La Shawan Kodash, the pure tongue, the holy tongue. We try to learn how to speak Hebrew. Because our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, 
and our Lord, our Savior, how Shai speaks Hebrew. And that's a pure language. Okay, so it's, it's, it's very beneficial that you, we, you learn how to speak Hebrew in the best of your ability. Learn some prayers in the Hebrew so you can have more of effective, stronger prayer than when you pray in English, the, the language of our oppressors, a wicked language. Okay? All right, and you pray in the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, not the Most High in Christ, like IUIC and etc. All right? No other languages <clears throat> hold the same amount of weight as the uh, Lashawan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Hebrew. Okay? So let's get some scriptures, okay? Uh, Let's start with Psalms chapter 25 and verse 20 of Slakia. Psalms chapter 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. So the secret of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant, the secret of the Lord, right? This secret council, this secret assembly, the secret council of familiar conversation. Why do you think ever since being this truth, it's, it sounds like you heard it before. It's like an old song that you haven't heard in a long time. But when you hear it again, you're like, yo, I, I know I heard it from somewhere. And you're able to rock to it. You're able to groove to it. You're able to two-step to it. All right? That's what it's like with this word. This word is it's like a, a new song. And only the elect will be able to uh, sing it. Uh, a scripture goes into that, if I'm not mistaken. How like the elect will, like, will sing a new song. And that's this word. This wisdom and knowledge of you. How about Shmuel Bashar? Okay, singing those the, the 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 true names, humming, meditating to the new to the true names. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and uh, in the blood of the Bible too. Uh, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna read this again. Psalms chapter twenty-five, verse fourteen, KJV. The secret of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with them that fear Him. And he will show them his covenant. All right. Like it says in, uh, let's get this very quick. Proverbs 1, chapter 1, verse 7. All right. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, for an example, two thirds, believers of Yahuwah, Yeshua, and Jesus Christ, the Most High in Christ, and etc. Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, all right, and the list goes on. Two thirds of our nation. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Why is that? Because they lack the fear. They lack having reverence, deep respect for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. Only a remnant is going to fear Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And because of that, they're going to receive the secrets of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Fear is, a, is, is, is healthy to have for our Lord because it can be used as a mechanism to aid safety and survival for the times of like Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay. <clears throat> let's get um let's get this right quick. Amos three and seven. The book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven in the KJV. Surely the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, 
will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right? He revealeth his secret. Right? Sawad. Okay. Let's see. It's, you get the same information from the blue uh, from the previous scripture um, in Psalms twenty five fourteen. But we want to check this out in the blue of the Bible because um, I think the blue of the Bible it mentions uh, he reveals himself as the Most High. Something along that line. Uh, let's see. Amos three seven. Uh, we're going to go into secrets. He revealeth his secret. Let's see. Mm, I, know I'm, I know I've seen it somewhere. Hold on. Council, secret council. Wait, do this, this is a secret council, yeah. Hmm. I know I've seen it somewhere. I know I'm not tripping. Uh, good thing I've written it in my Bible. I actually written it in my Bible, so I got it from the past. It actually says, uh, like, reveal himself as the most high. How about Shmuel All right, that's one of the secrets is, one of the secrets that Yahweh about Shmuel Shai will reveal onto those who fears him is his true name. The true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And the true name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who is our mediator. So, so we can be able to come back to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay. All right, but this is a secret council. It's like a mafia. All right. Members only. Family members only. All right. Bloodline only. All right. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, by Shmi, Yahweh Shai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his service to prophets. Let me see Revilif. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe it's this one. Ah, oh, so it's Revilif, his secret. Okay, so. Okay, okay. The wild Abbey, how about me, Oshai? All right, so for Revilif, you get to uncover. I think the pronunciation is the pronunciation. Gala. Gala. To uncover. Remove. All right, to uncover oneself, to discover or show oneself. Number three, to reveal himself of the Most High Yahweh Bashmi Shai. So only the elect are going to fear Yahweh Bashmi Shai, and because of that, Yahweh Bashmi Shai is going to reveal himself as being the true power, as one of the secrets he's going to reveal unto his prophets. So then the prophets can reveal that secret to the remaining of the elect that's out there. The lost sheep, his little ones that's still searching to hear his voice, his word, his wisdom and knowledge, his name being uttered through his prophets. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, so let's get uh, Proverbs. It's very important to know the true names, okay? Because we want to be needing those names, calling out to those names, praying a lot more to those names when all hell breaks loose. Um, Book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 10 in the KJV. The name of the Lord, not the title of the Lord, the name of the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous, the elect, runneth into it and is safe. If you don't believe in the true names, then a hey, go and call whoever you believe on, and we're gonna call and worship the names that we believe in through the Spirit, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, only the elect is going to believe and call upon the names, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, when all hell break loose, and they're the ones that's going to be safe from the hour temptation.
the famine, the pestilence, World War Three, Civil War. All hell breaking loose. Um, let's see. Uh, let's get Psalms. Psalms 1, 2, 4, and, uh, verse 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 124, verse 8. Our help, the hopeful elect. We hope to be of the elect. Our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's who the elect is going to call upon on in the times we're coming into. Our Baratzes, our Father willing, we do call on those names when all hell break loose. All right. Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name Yahweh Shai. He is in the name he saves. All right. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Uh, let's get um, Psalms chapter 9. Uh, I'm going to get 9 and 10, if I'm not mistaken. 9. Okay, yeah, so the book of Psalms chapter 9, verse 9 and verse 10 in the KJV. The Lord, right, the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, also will be a refuge for the oppressed and who are oppressed. The nation of Israel, the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, Israelite faunas, speckled birds, as of the elect. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. For an example, Jacob's trouble, the persecution, the great insurrection upon those who fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. World War Three, sedition among men, civil war, the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Which is darkness and gloominess and not light. Great deaths. A refuge from pestilence. The sword. Poverty. Famine. And okay, the list goes on. A refuge. Let's see. A stronghold. Uh, in a common English dictionary, you get a refuge. You get a, like a safe house. Let me, let me get that right quick. For edification, edification, refuge, definition, here we go, refuge, a condition of being safe or shelter from pursuit, danger, or trouble. So the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai is going to provide safety and shelter for the elect from pursuit, from danger, and trouble, Jacob's trouble. All right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, if I'm not mistaken. All right, spiritual powers, divine intervention. Okay. Uh, uh, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, also will be a refuge for the oppressed, and it's like it will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble. In times of trouble. Okay. Uh, verse 10. And they. Right. The elect. And they that know. Thy name. Will put their trust. In thee. For thou. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Has not forsaken them. That seek thee. So only the elect are going to not only know the name, but put their trust in the name 
Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, and because of that, they're not going to be forsaken for seeking the true name, for putting their help in the true name, for fearing the true name, for having reverence, deep respect for the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Two thirds are not. Okay. Uh, let's get Acts 4 12. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12 in the KJV. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. So there's no other names given under heaven among us Israelites. That's going to provide salvation. Only one name. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, not the Most High in Christ, not Jesus Christ, not Jesus Christos, not Buddha, not Allah, not Santa Maria, not the universe, not your higher self, not your ancestors, not your free spirit, not your vain beliefs, your wacky tacky Christian doctrine, and the list goes on. No other names but. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That was the only name that was given to us Israelites to worship and call upon them. Alright? When all hell break loose, that's going to be the only name that's going to be alive. And people are going to see that real soon. Uh, 34. Uh, The book of Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4 in the KJV. Who have ascended up into heaven. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended. Who have gathered the wind in his fist. Who have bound the waters in a garment. Who hath established all the ends of the earth. What is his name? The heavenly father. And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell the name of the heavenly father and the name of his son is a secret. And only the elect are going to truly believe in that name. Even though the names are is greatly accessible to our people. But there's still Israelites out there that's still not fearing or believing or worshiping or reverencing the name Yahweh Bashmi Shai. They're calling upon all names, any names, because all names doesn't matter or it doesn't matter what name you call on. The Lord knows your heart and whatever other, you know, uh, you know excuse, I guess you would say, that Israelites have out there. All right. What is the true name of the Heavenly Father? What is his son's name? If if thou can tell. If, if if you can tell, what is the true name? Alright. So when you go here, um uh Exodus Um Chapter 23. He's 20 to 23 if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, 20, 21, 22. Uh, you think 22, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so 22, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Exodus chapter 23, verse 20 in the KJV. Behold, I send, right, our Heavenly Father, I send an angel, and that letter A is capitalized. Behold, I send an angel. Before thee, this is to us Israelites, to keep thee in the way, in the way of what? Righteousness, holiness, and to bring thee, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai on earth. 
that angel that our Heavenly Father is talking about is our Lord, our Savior, Yahawashai. He saved, he delivers the Redeemer of Yahshua, the elect of Israel. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Verse 21. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, verse 21. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he would not pardon your transgressions. Now check this out. For my name is in him. So we are to worship and fear, obey Yahweh Shai. It's commanded by our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Because Yahweh Shai is our mediator. He's showing us the way. All right. What does it say here, right? For my name is in him talking about his son yah ha wa yah ha wa shai okay beware of him and obey his voice provoke him not for he would not pardon your transgressions for my name is in him. If, I'm slacking, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, Yahweh Shai, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies. I will be an enemy unto your enemies. The Edomites, two thirds. The heathens. I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. If thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an and adversary unto thine adversaries. Okay, so we we obey Yahweh Shai, we obey His voice. We don't transgress, tra transgress Him. We don't, we we provoke Him not. We beware of Him, right? We we worship Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is a script that goes into like um, kiss the sun, least he be angry. Just just paraphrasing. All right, Yahweh Shai is to be worshipped because our heavenly Father, His name is in. His son's name, our Lord and Savior. Okay. Uh, let me get one more. Judges chapter 14. No, it's not yet. Not 14. Uh, chapter 10. Uh, we're going to start at verse 11. And go down to 16. All right. Uh, mm, let's see. I want to get straight to the point here. Uh, Judges chapter 10, verse 11. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto the children of Israel, and said unto the children of Israel, and said unto the children of Israel, who you see right here. Okay? So called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, Arab Israelite fullness. And the Lord said unto the children of Yahshua Allah, of Israel did not I deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines the Zidonians also and the Amalekites and the Maonites did oppress you and ye cried to me and I deliver you out of their hand yet Ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. That's why two thirds ain't going to be delivered on this side. Because the amount of times our power delivered us, you always had two thirds. 
that always went back and worship other gods. That can't breathe, they can't speak, they're not alive. Okay? The same gods that caused you to get into that, that got us, you know, in the condition we in today. All right? Ye have for, yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. For an example, Jesus Christ. Yahuwah. Yeshua, Buddha, Allah. And the list goes on. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Two thirds ain't get delivered on this time. Not all of Israel is going to get delivered in this lifetime. Only a remnant, a portion. So when all hell break loose, right? Check this out. Verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. In Jacob's trouble, for an example. All hell break loose. The hour of temptation, the MOTB. All right? In order to buy or sell, you got to get that, you know, RFID chip, right? That brain chip, right? You rejected the names. Yeah, how about me? I was shy. And you still kept calling on other names. So when all hell break loose, you call on those same names that you was proud to proclaim the names. Let them deliver you in the times of your tribulation, of your troubles. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, We have sinned. We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatever, whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only the elect. Deliver us only. We pray thee this day. Now check this out. Verse 16. And they put away the strange gods from among them and served the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And his soul was grieved, right? Sorrow lament, lamented for the misery of Yahshua Allah. So in this lifetime, right? Only the remnant, the elect, are going to put away. Some has already put away, and we're still waiting for the remaining of the elect to hear this word and put away these strange gods from among them and come back and serve you. How about But two thirds of our nation are not going to put away their strange gods until they realize that. These strange gods who they have chosen is not delivering them from the times of their tribulation that is soon to come. Jacob's trouble, for an example, mentioned in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 6 to 7. Okay. So the names of the Lord is very important. Yashallah. Habarats is out the name of Salakia. Habarats is out the lesson was edifying and plain upon the tables. Let's close out by giving a much do all phrases, honor and glory to. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Rechak with us. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's labor and works. And Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. All right. I sincerely hope you was edified. All right. Repent, Israel. Repent. Shalom.